we're working on today. Let's see if the valves are bent on it. I'm looking forward to working on this engine here. I have big plans for it. Uh, we got to deal with, uh, we got to figure out what's wrong with it, right? So we're going to start with the exhaust cam. And um, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to come out this way and then move my way to the middle eventually. So. There we go. Whew. I can smell that there's like a pressure coming up and you can smell like burnt oil. So I'm going to show you something. Now these valve caps, they're marked. You see the number one, two, three, four, five. So that's the exhaust cam. And you can see also that it has an arrow. It's pointing to the front of the engine. So when you're putting these caps back on, there's no mistake in it. In case you're wondering, okay, well, what about the intake caps? Well, these caps here are also marked. So you got six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's absolutely no mistake in these caps. And as you can see, there's an importance in putting these caps back exactly where they came from. And it's the same theory that I have with the bolts, right? You take out all the bolts, you put them back in the exact place that you got them from so that when you're putting them back in, you know, it'll torque down properly. So as you can see, the caps, you can't misplace them. They go back exactly how you take them out and you know the direction that it goes into. So all you really need to know is that this is the number one cap and this is the number 10. Based on what I'm smelling, I smelled burnt oil before. I uh, used to uh, work at a dismantling yard. We used to dismantle the engines, and uh, this smell is very familiar with burnt engines, you know. And so you're hoping that the damage is not extensive to the point where it's not salvageable. Uh, but if it's in the drivetrain, then chances are you might have to just replace the camshaft and the valves, you know. So that's what I'm hoping for. Put over there by finger. You can take them out. That stinks. In my initial assessment, right, uh, you might recall that I stated that there was a problem with the, uh, that it appeared to have a bent exhaust valve, and I stand by that. And uh, as I'm taking it apart, you got that burnt oil smell, so. We'll see, we're almost there. I have to take off the uh, timing chain guide. And the reason for that is as I'm pulling up on the camshaft, it's in the way, so you gotta get it out of the way. Uh, you'll be able to find the bolts later on. I mean, you don't want to just place them on the table and forget about them, so I'll do the same with these. So now we'll take the camshaft out. There we go, so pull forward and pull it out. You just have to lift them out and that's it. So again, you gotta keep these in order. So I'm gonna have to find a uh, system 
in order to keep these in order. And now you pull out your lifters. Okay, and you can just pull them out with your hands. They come out relatively easy. Don't want to be using any kind of uh, metal objects to pull up on them because you might scratch them. If you can, pull them up with your hands. If you had to use uh, pliers, I would definitely put a rag over top of the pliers and pull them out. If you're having a hard time grabbing them also, uh, another thing that might help is uh, using a rag. When looking for a rag and I have one here, stick it out. Uh, so, and this one's a little tough, so wipe some of the oil off maybe. Try to pull up on that. Oh, that one's not coming out. Here we have. So the needle nose can go in there and pull up on it. There we go. Yeah. These ones here, the uh, spot's a little tight on this, right? So again, I'm doing that so that I don't score the lifters. I don't want to score them. Again, as I'm doing this, the valves are lifting, so you can actually feel pressure in the caps as you feel the camshaft lifting. So that's why it's important to take it off in sequence. Caps off. Okay, it's gonna be another cap here. This is gonna be a cap here. All right, so now we gotta take this cap off. But I don't want to score it. You gotta be really careful because all these are precision machined all right so probably it. there we go you see the dowels right that's why you got to carefully pry up on it we can take our intake and you don't really need markings um, for the uh, intake and the exhaust cams because it the intake cam is way longer than the exhaust cam, so you don't have to worry about that once you pulled it out. Okay, let's get these rockers off. These needle nose are actually excellent, excellent for the job, excellent tool. I can't ask for any better than that. So at the moment I have this valve remover tool and it's a bit older tool that doesn't appear to have enough space to pull these valves out. So I'm going to have to buy another tool and uh, we'll see what that looks like afterwards. 